Junior Gunnar Keel started his first game under center last season for Cincinnati. He immediately made an impact and showed promise that he would be the guy to lead the Bearcats in the years to come. It's been quite the journey for Keel to land on the Cincinnati campus. He committed first to Indiana, then to LSU, enrolled at Notre Dame, then transferred to Cincinnati. Coming out of high school, he was the nation's top-ranked quarterback, and growing up, he had quite the cast around him to help get him to where he is today. And growing up, I had, I had two older brothers, so I was very, very blessed to have, and then having a great dad and, and mom to, to, to support us in everything that we do, so it was huge. And then, uh, I mean, uh, my two older brothers are my heroes, and uh, I really look up to those guys, and uh, I do anything for them, we're best friends, so anything that they do, really did, I mean, I was going to do. So. I mean, I still still really look up to them, and, and uh, they're, they're huge role models and have had a huge impact on my life. While Keel idolizes several successful NFL quarterbacks, the ones he looks up to the most grew up with him under the same roof. Growing up, I thought my oldest brother, Drew, was, was the best thing ever. I thought he was the next Joe Montana, Joe Namath, you name it, Brett Favre. I thought he was Mr. Do-It-All. I mean, uh, it's funny, growing up, we'd have backyard football games, and it would always be me and him on a team, and I never would want to upset him, or, or I'd always just try to try to play for him, really. I mean, and uh, if I didn't make a catch or something, I knew I was going to get an earful from him. So uh, just watching him as a, as, a pocket, as a pocket passer throw was something I really wanted to, 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 to develop into. And then watching my middle brother run, run the football was, was awesome. I still joke around with him, and. Uh, uh, I watch his highlight tape just for fun, just because he had so many, so many trucks on linebackers. So I think <laughs> I probably have watched it way too many times that I try to do it in college games now. So, uh, but those two guys are, are, are awesome and I love them to death. Now Keel, in his second season as the starter at Cincinnati, is continuously trying to take his game to the next level. And this fall he has a talented cast around him to help him do so. As they watched me develop throughout the year, I think things started to click and they, they put uh, quite a bit on me this summer, just running, running practices, I mean just, just, uh, just uh, knowing that this is my team and that they're giving me the keys of the car and that I just got to go out there and, and make it happen now. So I love it honestly, I mean it just, it just shows that they have a lot of trust in me and uh, I don't want to let them down so I'm going to do whatever I can to, for the program and the community and anything for Cincinnati. This is my 20th year to be a head coach. I've never been around seven senior, senior wide receivers that have played a lot. That's a benefit for all of us, especially for Gunner. And those guys, you know, we have, we have big guys on the outside that can run. We have big guys and small guys with great athletic ability on the inside that can make plays. Gunner doesn't have to be perfect, and he knows that. Uh, he's got big deep threats. He's got short threats. He, got, he has guys that can catch a five-yard pass and run 80 yards. But the thing we the quarterbacks have to do is they have to take and get the ball to them in the, in the right circumstance and situation, get us in the right play. Uh, again, Gunner will be much better this year than he was last year. Uh, you know, he exceeded my expectations, but now he's got to use those receivers and use all of them. Keel and the Bearcats face a tough test this weekend as they head to Houston to take on the 18th ranked Cougars. Houston sits in first in the West, while Cincinnati is tied for second in the East. Each game, each win, extremely vital in the last four weeks of the season.